Team of Legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a new game show called Cherry's Wild on Fox. I didn't even hear this show. And I guess it premiered last week. Uh, I guess it's 7 o'clock on Fox. I, I know NBC is doing like Week of Links. So I was watching Week of Links. And I was like trying to review, uh, watch new game shows, depending on what it is. I don't care about the mass Singer. I don't care about, they got something that guessed my talent. I don't care about that. I mean, just regular type game shows. And um, this revolves around a giant slot machine. Someone like a cross between Joker's Wild and the NBC show The Wall, which is a big thing right there. Not, um, and I remember a few years back on late night TBS or TNT, they had they did a remake of the Joker's Wild with Snoop Dogg, turned into like a grown up version of that show. I never reviewed it. I watched it once. I don't know if I liked it or not. I have to watch that. They might have episodes on YouTube. I don't even know if that show's on anymore. I don't even know when it's on because I don't really watch TBS or TNT at all. I remember they had that Bam Margera show that I think I watched once. But you know, I don't watch those channels. Um, and uh, it's weird. I mean, uh, I found out about Cherry's Wild like two minutes for uh, for uh, show tonight. On, on Fox, I'll probably put this up Wednesday. And, um, you know, like, I was going to see what the schedule was on Fox, like, two minutes before 7 o'clock, I said, Cherry's Wild, like, what the heck is this? I assumed it was a game, uh, uh, I assumed it was a game show, but maybe a slot machine related game show. And it's hosted by a guy, Jason Biggs, who was the kid that starred in, uh, the American Pie movie thing. And, uh, I remember what, um, and basically the show revolves around like, like a giant slot machine. And then you have to answer questions. It's like, okay, I think he was telling the rules of the game. Like you get like a wild cherry, sponsored by wild cherry Pepsi. If you get like five wild cherries up there with no X's and stuff like that, when you go to the spins towards the end of the show, you'll win 200. You win two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is pretty good. Let me take both of these. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. There. I won't get no more annoying pop up messages while I'm trying to record. Um. Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Now, if there's like an X, you get X on there, you'll lose all your turns and stuff like that. And there's times when you can actually win money, and the money you win. Can help you buy free spins and stuff like that if you don't earn free spins for themselves. And then, like I said, they have like two question round. One is like true and false. We have like five true and false questions, and then you might get a money amount, or you might get a wild cherry, or you might get a free spin, or you might get it if you get an X, you don't get anything. Now, if you have like now when you're spinning the at the end of the show when you spin the wheel, if you get an X in there, you lose the total amount on that wheel. Uh, and then they have like something. The second round is like one big question, and it's like, I uh, like they give you a topic. And you ask you five questions, and it's like multiple choice, and you pick one, and you know it's a chance to win more money, uh, wild cherry, uh, cherry, wild cherry, whatever it is, and also or a free spin, or or if you get it wrong, you actually don't get nothing. Then at that you spin, and. Uh, it's, well, the biggest thing is it looks fake because it has, like, whenever, like, the weakest link, I mean, they're all pre-recorded, you know, it's not live, but, I mean, when it was something like the weakest link or, or like, the Chris Hardwick show, The Wall, and stuff like that, it's, it's definitely looks shot on video. This one, it looks like that cinematic shot on video, like the mass Singer, looks fake. I hate that look. And this one has that look, it looks fake. I mean, so whenever something exciting happens, you don't really get that feeling. And then whenever they spin, when the wheel is spinning, it looks fake. I mean, because it, I mean, it's definitely digital and stuff like that. But I mean, uh, no, if you're in the casino, you play the digital slots too. Or they have real when they have digital slots, you know. But I mean, when they spin, it looks real. I mean, it has a realistic look to it, you know, it's digital. This one doesn't look real at all. So it takes away from some of the uh, 
some of the excitement of the show. Like when on the wall, when that ball drops, you go, boop, 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 boop. you don't know where it's going to drop. It's like Plinko or something like that. That's that's exciting. This one, you know, there's someone, you know, programming them here. But I mean, when it, the wheel spin, it doesn't look that. It looks fake. Now, it's only a half hour show, so it's not as, you know, that helps. I mean, even and then or whenever they pull down the lever, it looks fake too, because they pull it down and then all of a sudden it just sticks there. And then I guess it eventually, I think someone's operating it. It looks so fake. That really hurts the show. Um, something that answered the question is interesting. I think Jason Biggs, the guy start, does okay job. I mean, you know, he nothing special. But I mean, the parts of excitement just don't really pay off because it just it has that cinematic look to it, which I don't like. You know, it doesn't have that live shot video like weeks or a wall has. I mean, the when that thing falls, I mean, just like whenever um, they had a show called The Wheel, which had like a giant wheel they spin. When the wheels spin, it didn't look real. It did look, it looked fake. It, lo it looked wrong. That's what really hurt the uh, the show, I think. It's just like if you took the show Dodgeball. And um, like you said, I always thought Dodgeball should have been nominated for sound effects or sound effect editing. Could have had that sound of the, of the ball, the one it hits or bounces off. So, But Roger Ebert mentioned that when he reviewed it years back. Or like the tennis shoes on the... Uh, on, uh, Floor, if they would have got that saw that sound wrong, it would have hurt the show. Like this one, it just the, the slot machine, and then when you put it, just looks fake, and it just takes away some excitement because it doesn't have that live look to it. It just has a fake look to it. Um, so that hurts the show. I mean, but it's okay. I think it's okay. I might, I'll probably watch it again. Um, I give it a very mild seven out of ten. It could have been much better, you know, but. Is there, I mean, and then, like, whenever they have, uh, they run out of spins, they have a chance to pay more money and go for more, or they can cash out. And uh, the couple that was on tonight cashed out with 136000 which is pretty good. The most you can win is 250000 You get all, you know, like five reels. If you get all five wild cherries, you get 250000 with no X's. But I think the show's okay. I mean, you know, just make it not look so fake. That because with the wheel, the wheel didn't last long at all. I remember it was a Thursday show, and this one they spilled it. It didn't look real at all. It looked fake, and they had this problem with this one too. But, I mean, it's okay. And then like at seven thirty, they're gonna premiere "Bless the Hearts" uh, scene two, which I they're gonna have another "Bless the Hearts." So I was like, you know, skip that because I had some videos to do, so I want to do the review of this, put this up. May Wednesday, and then do the Wet Wednesdays video today. I'm doing this Sunday night. So I hope you like this video, everybody. Till next time, please take care of my legion. But I mean, it's, it's okay. But I think, like, the weakest link, or I think um, that Chris Hardwick show, the wall is better because it just looked more realistic because you don't know where the ball is going to bounce. Because, I mean, they can't really, maybe they could fix it. I don't know. But, I mean, you know, it has a more realistic look to it, where this one, it just looks fake, and then with the parts of excitement, it just don't feel it. Same thing with the that giant wheel thing. You just didn't feel it. it the the wheel itself looked cool. I mean, I like Mental Samurai. Mental Samurai was cool, but I don't think it ever come back. I'm drinking a Diet Pepsi, by the way. That Pepsi halftime show. I'll give that a 10 out of 10. It's really good. Hope you like this video. Bye. Till next time, please. Take care of my legion. I edit this together.